For those of you that don't know the love story of Aubrey and Wiley, it all started in middle school. She felt a pull in his direction, but they never had a class or anything together. She didn't even know his name. But after a long three years of nothing happening and about 50, 100 gigs of data later, Wiley finally asked her out. Heart. You're my best friend. I'd be lost without you. Thank you for loving me, supporting me, and believing me. I'm so lucky God chose me to be your daughter. Mama Shelly, for today's happy tears, thank you for loving me like your own. You've raised an amazing man, and I'm blessed to call him my husband. Aubrey, what an absolute joy it has been to get to know you for 12 years. To have the opportunity to take a close look and see that is all that is good in you. Your kind heart, your warmth, your strength. Wiley, since I laid eyes on you, I knew we would share a history. I love your hardworking, driven spirit and your love towards Luna, Nori, and Looking I. Looking out The morning air is waiting for us now Call into the space between the clouds there's something beautiful in the quiet. Now let me begin by saying that Aubrey was supposed to be something a boy. beautiful. We will go as far as a feet can take us. On the drive down, I've been practicing a bunch of the funny stories to tell about the two of them. Uh, Wiley and I eating an excessive amount of desserts and playing board games on the floor of our room while Aubrey would be the one more willing to talk to me about the intricacies of how much flour to put in your New York cheesecake to make sure it's not cracking too much. And Aubrey has had a crush on Wiley, and for her 16th birthday, she got a candle from Anthropology. But she came up to me and she said, you have to make a wish on the candle. And I asked her what she wished for, and she said, for her crush, Wiley Simpson. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness and in commitment to you for all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. I may not be able to promise you that I'll take the trash out of the car every time I leave, and I'm definitely not going to put the cap on the milk lid, but I can promise you to love you endlessly. I'll promise to love you unconditionally, support you in all your endeavors, encourage you, share guidance, and walk in the Lord with you. Heartbeat in the quiet, spotlight in an empty room, a song in the silence. But I want to challenge you guys from here on out to think of love as a verb. Because love is an action. Love is something that you do for one another. And I believe the more you do things that are loving, the more intimate you're going to feel and be. That is love. And this love, it's a love beyond circumstances or situations. It's a love that has no limits and it has absolutely no boundaries. The, the 
best surprise was all was we are going on a family trip and suddenly why it surprises us with a gorgeous girl that's going to get in the car and go with us. To you, Wiley and Aubrey, congratulations and welcome to the family. something my dad and other dads I knew always wanted, but now I know why. Aubrey, you made our family complete, and we felt a miracle had happened. This is more than imagine, this is more than ordinary love, didn't realize this could happen. My dad always put you first, to take care of your puppies, to do the things the first time you tell me, to listen to your instructions when you tell me the vow should be under one minute, and I always love you. I will hold your hand during all of life's challenge, and may our height distance be the only distance between us. Please stand with me to toast Wiley and Aubrey. We wish you a lifetime of love, strength to go the distance. To Wiley and Aubrey, cheers. And now, by the authority committed to me by the state of California as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Wiley, you may kiss your bride. Yeah.